Just jump, and then jump into this real quick. And then it should take you over, like this double jump. Oh, you might die. Oh, this is like the Athena one. thing. This is the Athena thing. Oh. So you have to jump and then jump again. Yeah, then you make it over, and then we're coming up here. Actually, let me look at these real quick. That's- you don't need to know that. Or that. Well, actually come in this one real quick. So this is a- this is a bounce pad. So you just land in it, and then you just hold spacebar. And then you'll go- oh. Yeah. And then this one wants you to just turn around and hold W. So you hold W the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And then this one is you hold space, and then you hold space, and then you hold space. This game doesn't have auto bunny hop. So you'll have to uh, hit space and hold it each time. So like, I'm hitting space, hitting space, hitting space. And then you like, you queue up your next jump. How do you get the first jump? I just walk into it and hold W. You don't jump out of the jump pad, you just walk into it. Oh. Now we explain why I did. Yeah. So you just walk into the pad, and then you have to hit space <laughs> to hold it for each Sorry. individual one. You can hold space for when you hit the ground. Those are just some reflex-specific things. But you have to manually input each jump, but you can queue jumps, if that makes sense. Like, you can't hold space, but like, right now, if you listen to my sound and like, watch me jump, you can like, see how you're queuing the jump while you're mid- so you, you just have to worry about jumping on this one. There's no other movement. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then this is air strafing while doing that same thing. So you're going to be using A and D to go around the corner. And you can like do it all one continuous bunny hop. Huh. This is taking a lot of things at once though. So you're holding W, you want to just be like using left and right, A and B. Uh. So when you hold D, you want to be looking to the... You want to like, hold D when you're looking to the... And you want to hold A when you're looking to the left. So just go off that jump a few times, and then just practice that. Like turn to your... Like jump off that pad, and then just turn to your right. And then hold D at the same time. Well, like, as soon as you go off that, start holding D and look to the right. I just want you to get a feel for how the air control works. Well, I mean, just after you hit the, like, after you go off the jump pad, I guess. Like the first jump pad thing. Uh, I mean, it's, what I'm trying to say is, like, on the first initial bounce, like, the jump pad, jump pad you're jumping off of, I just want you to get a, a feel for the air control. So, like, when you jump off that jump pad, I want you to, like, start doing air control stuff. Like, as soon as you leave that pad, just hold A and turn left, for example. Yeah, that was kind of it. Oh, like that. So you do D, right, A, left, and like. Yeah, so if you, actually if you go into your option, and you turn on, and you go to the widgets section, mm -hmm. you'll see something called movement keys. You can turn that on, and if you go to spectate me, it'll...
Uh, I expect to hit you. Uh, it should be mouse one. Um. Or hit one. Uh, it's period and comma. Oh. I must have rebound that. Let me know when you're spectating. Mm, but I'm not seeing the widget. Did you enable it? And then make sure... Oh, like, I did. Widget. Oh, it's visible. visible yeah, and then it visible. has to have an axe through. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's all showing up for you. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I kind of just go out like that, and then... I'll do it again. I wish I could slow it down. Do you have any questions about what I'm doing or why I'm doing it when I'm... So, I mean, if... Yeah, I think I'm getting it. So, one thing that's really important, and this is what I was trying to get you to do, is when, like, this is air control and how it worked. So you see when I turn to the left, I'm holding A, and when I turn to the right, I'm holding D. Yeah. That's like 90% of air control, which is how you can do things like this. And just keep gaining speed while doing that. And then I think that's the last one for this. Yeah, it is. So then this is just everything put together. And then on the subject of circle jumping, so you're gonna want if you turn on the speedometer, <clears throat> if you turn on where is it? I think it's is on it called default. The oh, do you see my speed? Mm -hmm. Find it. Yeah, like I see your speed. Okay, so let me try to find somewhere that has a long. Okay, I can't do that. That's hard mode. Yeah, okay. So, if you see me holding W, I go to like 320 UPS, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm just holding W, my UPS goes to 320. Mm -hmm. And then if I turn my mouse, you see how it goes up? Mm-hmm. And then if I strafe, you see how it slightly goes up? Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to take advantage of all of that. So in slow motion, it looks kind of like this. So let me do that again. You see how that kind of motion is? So you're basically taking it, and also, I don't think there's any guys in Quake Champions that would take advantage of this, mm -hmm. but if you hold, like, run into a wall like this, you see how fast the speed yeah, is? Yeah, I saw that in Defrag before. Yeah, that's kind of insane. So, that's just, that's just like the basics of circle jumping, is it's W, strafe, turn, jump, and then you just kind of follow through like this. And then for, uh, this is how uh, Quick Champions move. It's literally all with movements like this. You see how I'm holding W and the strafe key? Mm -hmm. That's uh, strafe jumping. And that's exactly how uh, every champion in Quick Champions game. And so you see when I switch directions, I uh, also turn which way I'm looking. Mm -hmm. That's the bread and butter. So yeah, if you want to rejoin, you can try I think I want to spectate. And then yeah. cancel it. But yeah. I can see. I can help at least with that. Uh -huh. Is that where I join? Yeah, it's got to it's gonna restart the map. Okay. Bonus. 
Oh, this is the... Yeah, this is the first tutorial. Is this circle jumping, or is this... No. This is double jumping. So you're gonna jump, and then jump again. When you land on that thing. There's a window for... Oh, you did the hard mode one. Nice. Hmm. And then now it wants you to do this jump. With the double jump thing you just landed. Uh, you can hit spacebar while you're in the air, and as long as you're holding spacebar, you'll jump again. Oh. So, one thing is, as soon as you leave the jump pad, you can start holding space. Oh. Uh, like, the whole time? So, you have you can hold space as soon as you leave the jump pad, and then as soon as you hit the ground and you're in the air again, you have to re-hold space. So you let go and hold it again. Oh. Uh. Well, this, this isn't as important as, like, the circle jumping and, like, the strafe jumping. But, I mean, this would help you with, like, your sore lag movement, but... So why not... Why, how did I lose speed there? You hit the wall. Also, if you turn really tight, you'll lose speed because it's how air acceleration works when you're moving at a certain speed. I have to do a gradual... Yeah, so the way how I do it is, as soon as I leave the jump pad, I go slightly to the left. So I'll go slightly left as soon as I leave the pad, and then I'll, like, ease into going to the right. I'm getting closer. Yeah. So how are you... That's why I'm confused on... Like that, How, why am I losing speed? You're either touching the ground and it's trying to like go back to walking speed, or you're bumping into the wall. If you like graze a wall, you'll also lose speed. Hold on, if you come back here real quick to where I am, unless you made it, no longs. Uh, I just want you to try to, like, get used to, like, turning while you're in the air, basically. Because it's, it's like, that's part of where you're stuck, is you're not used to being able to turn while you're in the air. And it's all about gradual mouse movement. And it's, you don't hold W at all, it's just A and D. If you're turning to the left, you're holding A. If you're going to the right, you're holding D. So you hold W to get that burst of forward speed. And then you just kind of need to get your brain used to the fact that you can move while you're in. And you just use A and D to move left and right.
You see how much freedom you have with your air movement? We're trying to turn the... Yeah, because you have to use A and D to hit those turns just right. The thing that is frustrating is... You can't, like, if you make a bad turn, you lose all of your momentum. Yeah, so like if you're holding A and like... Well, it, you shouldn't lose your momentum. You really only lose speed if you hold W at some point. At least from what I've seen. Because if you, if you like hold A and you look to the right, you should just continue to go forward. You also, if you lose speed, it's because you're like, you like start walking again, kind of. So you slide a little bit in this game if you touch the ground. How do you do it without going forward? Like, how, what happens when you like just stop? Just feels like sometimes you just stop. I'd have to see what you're hitting with, but. It's because you're hitting, but you're like, you're like landing on the ground. So, just just for a second, I I'm gonna try my best to explain how the jump queuing works in this game. Uh, so when you hit spacebar, you queue a jump. As soon as you land, it executes that jump, and then you need to press spacebar again to queue your next jump. So you can jump, then while you're in the air, you can let go and hold space again. And that will cue the next jump, but you have to you have to press space for each jump. Yeah, like that. So it's it's less strict on the timing of when you input the jump. You need to be holding the direction the whole time while you're trying to look in that direction. So like you're, if you're, as long as you're aiming to go to the right, you're going to be holding D. It's a lot <laughs> to think about. Yeah, you basically want to get this, like the jumping motion onto like a metronome that you don't even think, because the only thing you need to be thinking, because it's, it's weird, because I see what you're doing, you're like, you're like hitting left and jump at the same time, which is completely understandable, this is something new to you. So I would just take a minute and practice just jump queuing, so that way you can get the jumping down. Ah, oh, fuck, I went awkward. Oh, that's all good. Now you get to practice jump queuing again, because you can jump queue on all three of It's the angle you're leaving the jump pad at. <laughs> oh, God. oh, that's all good, man. This is a lot for you to take in. That's gonna switch maps real quick. Because the stuff that's more relevant to you is circle jumping. Okay. Is that how it works in um, CPMA characters too? Like you have to queue the jumps? Yeah. No, no, you can hold space bar for that. In, okay. in Quick Champions, you can hold space. Okay, so that's like never gonna be relevant. I mean, people make the argument that you do go faster if you don't use the auto bunny hop. 
but no one's really done conclusive evidence. Uh, where is it? This one. It's this one. So if you look on the ground here, it shows you, like, the, the inputs. So you want to hold W, and then, you know, it's hold W, and then hold A, and then turn to the left. And that's how you do a circle jump. Oh god. How do you walk out of the room? Oh, what, what? So many rooms! Help! <laughs> it's Help. the one with the, it's like an arrow you with the circle. I am right, right now, I'm so lost. <laughs> Where did you go? Hold on. I'll find you. Oh god. Oh, are you in freestyle? You're in freestyle, hey! Uh, I don't remember how you get out of freestyle. I'm just gonna kill myself. If you open console and type kill, it should end, it should put you back in spawn. Console by default is kill day. Oh, uh, slash cap. Yeah. It should just be kill. I don't think you need a slash. Um, is it caps lock? Okay, sensitive. Shouldn't matter. There it's suicide. Huh? It's the command is suicide. Ah, uh, that's probably not a good <laughs> command in today's. <laughs> and then you want this one. Pretty sure. That command would be bad for them in today's quick or today's gaming. Probably. Is that right? So, this one is the it's this one's like the like the starter one because you can just jump this one. Yeah. This yeah. One, this is how I used to I, I practice in this. I used to be able to go way far. I used to be able to go the really far ones. I do this yeah. in defrag. Yep. This is like the basics of movement, is like this jump. Right here. Uh, no, all bad. Yeah, so you've got the basics of it down. It's just about making it one fluid motion now. There you go. Yeah, one step at a time is the best way to do it. Just think forward, turn left, move camera. That's the order in which you do it. And you don't want it to be a flick. Like, you you do and you don't. Like, it just you want it to be a fast movement. The most important thing to remember is, like, where your camera is when you jump is the majority of the direction you're going to be. So you almost want to jump when your camera is, like, you've done a 45 degree turn. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Yep. Ah, uh, I'm going too early. Well, yeah, you're jumping before, yeah. Yep, that's that's a big one. Good job. That's awesome. Yeah, serious, you suggest, like, you could do all the hard stuff, obviously. But when I just went into defrag, I would just do this all day. Yep, this is like, this is how you want to start pretty much every strafe jump in uh, Quake Champions. It's the same concept, because in Quake Champions it's kind of the same thing, where uh, you you can do like the W and the A at the same time, and then it's when you jump that you start getting inhibited by air control. That's why I'm saying when you want to like be aiming where you want to end up when you jump. Uh, that's a good one, right? And then when you feel comfortable with this one, just go to the next one. Each one is like you know pr progressively farther back. There you go. So 
So, when you fail the next time, I'll have you do something. And you just keep doing this until you fail, pretty much. Alright. Ah, there we go. Can you go spectator real quick? Huh? Can you go spectator real quick? I feel like understanding this is like a really big fundamental and a oh, better equation. Oh shit! That's Boo Boy. That is. Yeah. Ah, he um. He plays. He streams Quake a lot. So, one thing I think is really important to understand is like. If I were to just walk at the speed and then hit jump, and then I let you see how I'm not holding anything and I'm just hitting speed. Yeah. You see how I'm just maintaining that speed? Oh, you're not even holding like, forward. Yeah. No, I'm just jumping. So this is really because this works the same way in Quick Champions. If you just hold W and then you just consistently jump, you're not going to lose speed. You're not going to gain speed. You can look around everywhere, and it's like it's kind of trippy. So the way how this works is you're abusing this fact right here. So if I jump, you see, you know how, whoops. How'd you die? Uh, I have suicide gone to X. This one will be better to explain it. So you see how my speed is going up slightly? Mm -hmm. the, you're basically just trying to jump like at the optimal time of like abusing this. Oh, so, is this for people to straight jump race each other? Yeah. That's so cool. So, this is one thing I want you to try a couple times, is just getting used to the fact that, like, you're trying to jump at that- So you see how that's 369? Mm -hmm. I'm not moving my mouse. I'm just using the strafe key and then trying to jump at a certain point. And you can see how that's a different value. And then, if I'm holding W, you see how I do this? My speed goes up. And you see how if I jump and I don't hold anything, I'm still at that speed. Yeah. <clears throat> All of those things together is how this. So it's. It's like that. <coughs> so I want you to. I want you to try to think about that a little bit as you doing <laughs> one of these, which is just what you've been doing like that. Oh, there's no collision. Ah. And then the 380 one is, uh, if you can do the 380 one consistently, you can do just about any jump in any Quake game. That's like on a dual map. Oh, I have to be going. Oh, so it tells you the speed you have to be going. No, that's the units. That's how many units are from here to over there. Oh, okay. Because I think you need to be going like over 400 units. I hate how sometimes you end up getting the double death. Yeah, you hold W off and it's just like, bye. Yeah. Yeah, that little extra bit makes it so much harder. Because if you look, you can see how much farther you have to go through the window when you're there. And it's like the tiniest bit. Oh, 
was so good. That was actually a perfect circle jump. Clip it. Perfect circle jump. You did. You like. It, you could have done it faster, but that was really good. You executed everything the way it needed to be done. But it's better for you to take your time right now, and then as you get more comfortable starting to speed things up. Oh, that was a bad one. Hey, it happens. Does it like you to do a forward 360? What? Turn around, man. It's where you start like this. And then you go like that. Oh. You can't do this 412 one without it. You might just need to take a second and just like stretch your hands or something. This is a lot going on that you're learning. If you want to take a second and spectate me to see if you can see anything different while well, it takes to take a break and get back to it, I'll show you the hard one. So this one's not too bad once you get the hang of it. This one's kind of hard. Mm. 
This one is pretty hard. Four minutes remaining. And then this one you have to do the turn around, I mean. Uh -huh. So it's like you're making a little path. Yeah. It's it's literally this right here. Yeah. This motion is what you're looking for. And then you jump at this phase. Like when you're when like these arrows are where you jump. Yeah. So th this is how the visual works. You want to jump when your when when your uh, crosshair is in line with the arrows. Okay. Three minutes. That's the visual game. you're looking for. Is you want to jump when you can when you're lined up with those arrows. Oh. And there's no visuals for this. Yeah, these are the more advanced ones. No, what's that? Dude, noise. One minute remaining. Can you hear me? Yeah.
If you want to go to the... If you're still down, you can go to the... Straight for the... Strafe jump one. You can just work on that too. So you don't need to hit W at all. Well, okay, that's a lie. Okay. You need to hit- you're hitting like all three movement keys. And you're letting go of the movement keys, you don't need to let go of the movement keys. That's gonna take the longest for you to get, I think. Is that just a defrag thing or a general attack? That's a quick thing too, quick chance thing. I it needs to be like... Um, go spectate and I'll show you this one specifically. <clears throat> I don't know when you're ready. Okay. Oh, right, you're saying just stay, like, you're talking about half stepping, right? Uh, I think half stepping is something like this. Oh, it's so hard to do. That's the hard one. I don't know. I don't get how to do that. This is just strafe jumping, though. You're just not switching off every single time. Yeah, so if you're thinking about this thing right here, like the, the jump game, or the one where there's like different platforms and you have to try to jump across them to the end, that's when you would like need to do a half step. Basically, you only need to change direction if you're going to hit a wall. Mm. That's when that's why people change is because if they keep going in that direction, they're going to not make the next platform straight on. I think with my is it do you lose speed if you stop the strafe? Like if you well, no, you just don't gain speed if you just keep going if you just keep queuing space. And you just stop strafing, you just go at the same speed from your last jump. And the same direction. Alright, um, go spec real quick, and I'll show you something that I think might help with you understanding this a little easier. I think I'm starting to get it, it's just, I need to stretch my wrist real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. One second, I've got like a wrist stretcher. For So, can you hear me? Without trying to overwhelm you too much, I think the easiest way for you to get used to this is to like go one hand at a time. So, 
I think the best thing for you to do is to just do this for a little bit, is just hold W and D and just keep hitting space. And then when you're about to hit a wall, just switch directions. And then just keep, without moving your mouse, just keep trying to get used to doing this with your hand. So that way you're training like one one thing at a time, getting used to holding these keys and because you're going to eventually start to move and then you have to do that. Then you have to move another hand. I think it would be much easier for you just to do one hand at a time. Okay. I think the part of the reason why I'm switching off, my pinky or my space is shift. Oh. Yeah. I made the change a while back. But it's one of those where it's like you have to mentally think, okay, my ring finger is down, but my pinky is not moving with it. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people use right click as jump. Yeah, I I've played with it before. It has some pros and cons. Probably would get me killed more than not. And it's also not as punishing in Quake Champions because you have auto bunny hop. Well, where it would punish me would be just jumping when... So you see how, like, I... How I, um... What is it called? Like, you see how I accidentally zoom all the time? Yeah. Well, imagine if instead of those accidental zooms, it's like an accidental jump. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get you in right there, 100%. Honestly, this is a good challenge, trying to get my pinky in check like that. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of muscle dexterity in your pinky. I actually do a lot of training with my fingers. Um, because you type all the time, right? Yeah, I've got like, um, finger exercises and things. I'll show you if you're watching my stream. I'd have to pull it up one second. All right, I'm there. Let me get the other ones too, because they're in my bag. One second. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so you here? Okay, so this is what I've been working on recently. I just like to so you, So it's like people use it for guitar. I was gonna say it kinda looks like a clarinet thing. And this is like thirteen pounds. Oh jeez. You can crush a watermelon. Yep. And then I've got this, which is 21 pounds, and go do something like this. I do this in meetings at work. Passes the time. It's like a more productive version. So I've got the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then, particularly for the wrist, got this. And then, of course, there is the classic, is this. And this is 198 pounds. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've got those for things like that. 
Oh god. Uh, uh, that's how much time I have left. Yeah, if you want to take what you've learned and put it into Quick Champions, you can jump around on a map. Because that has auto bunny hop, and now that you have the fundamentals, it should be a lot easier. You know, that's honestly the thing I hate the most about Quake Champions, to be honest. What's that? Um... I really hate that there's no good maps for this type of thing. Yeah, if they had a map creator, the community would be way happier. Yeah. I get why it would be hard to get a map creator. Like, I do get that, just because, like... If the engine's not well designed for it, it's probably really hard to do. Yeah. But I really do wish that they did something like that. It would just be better for everyone. Yeah. Because the best map for us to do this in is, uh... Uh, Blood Covenant. Yeah. And it's really, really shitty for that. <laughs> like, in the grand scheme of things. Like, it's the best one yeah. for that, but it's so frustratingly... Well, the banana section is the only part that's, like, super relevant. The part with the armor and then the vial. Ooh, you saw that? Yeah, you're crushing it. You're getting faster and faster. You've gotten it down by five seconds. at that time. Yeah, you kind of scrape the ground a little bit. You slide a lot in this game. When you, yeah. like, miss a bunny hop, you'll slide for quite a ways. Uh. Yeah, that's fun. That's really fun. Now, at the start, just do a circle jump, like you've been doing the other thing, with like mm -hmm. the start sideways. Will this take me to the beginning? Uh, it should. Huh. So this is the really important thing about uh, strafe jumping. Mm -hmm. You gain speed based off of uh, your mouse movements, not off of which direction you're holding. So if you go into your widgets, and there's a thing called the Excel meter, and you turn that on, it, I'll show you what it does. I mean, just this is like brutal on my wrist. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's rough. I wonder how many Quake players die of Carpal Tunnel. They just gonna, I think more people would be likely to die of a blood clot in their wrist. And then <laughs> it just goes to their heart. What is it called? Excel meter. It should be the first one. Yeah. And then if you want to go to spectate real quick, I'll show you how it works. Okay, I'm not even seeing it yet. Does it generate only when you're like doing it? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. So you see the green? Mm -hmm. 
your mouse has to be staying in that green section to gain speed. That's that's like the. It, and this doesn't show in uh, Quick Champions at all, but it's the same concept. So you see how it's growing a little bit, but also. So. This is how you generate speed while dead, while straight jumping. It's up through your mouse movements. Because of. You see how I'm not gaining any speed right now? Mm -hmm. And I do that and I start gaining speed again. So you have to be slowly so, following it. You have to try to keep your mouse inside it. And then the faster you go, the further it's going to move in that direction. And this is how it works in Quake Chain. Damn, but without those tools, it just is so tragic. Yeah, it's honestly... Like, if your only game is Quick Champions and you expect to learn that, I don't understand how... Three minutes remaining. <clears throat> so it's dis it disappears if you stop holding a streak, like, if you stop doing the motion properly. That's when the green bar disappears. So you know you're strafe jumping correctly when you see the bar. Okay, when when you first do it, don't worry about it, it's just calibrate. Yeah, yeah, you, you basically, I can see you, it's clicking in your head. Yeah. And then the key is just not hitting a wall, so you have to know when to change to the other direction. Two minutes remaining. So one thing you can do is don't turn your mouse until you input your other strafe direct. So that way you know where you have to put your cursor to. I thought you're doing good, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could. You're doing really good, especially with the amount of practice you got. See, that was good. Especially considering you stopped halfway. One minute remaining. Yeah, that was your best one. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, I was hanging on there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's all good. And this is the stuff that you'd be doing around your uh, dual map. So that way you can try to get to everything as fast as possible. If you can strafe jump in Reflex, you can strafe jump in Quake Champions without a problem. This game is a lot harder to strafe jump in, because the the window in Quake Champions, if I remember correctly, is way less strict. That little green area, yeah. it's way more forgiving. Okay. If only Quake had Chicago servers, man. <laughs> 